Hey guys, this is Brian from CAMS. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use some Dassault system products such as DraftSite and SolidWorks. And then we're going to use SolidWorks CAM or we're going to use CAMWorks, which is SolidWorks CAM powered by CAMWorks. You use either one. So where we're going to take a image, like a logo, and convert it into lines and arcs, and then engrave it using CAMWorks software. So we're going to get started here. Um, as you can see, I'm in DraftSite, which is um, made by the same people who do SolidWorks, the SOS systems. And those are both products and software's CAMs carries in their product line. So we're going to jump in. Um, I'm on the Home tab here. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Import and Attach Image and browse and select the logo that I want to use. I'm going to go ahead and open that guy up. Okay, and there's some settings come up. We can specify, you know, location of it, sales so scale factor, or do it later. I'm gonna go ahead and do the fast scale factor of three, and go ahead and okay that. And I've got my logo here on the screen where it's imported into the WG file here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to view and Make this, move this up here in a little center, in the center and zoom in a little bit. So it's a little bit easier to see here. And then I'm gonna go over to the add-ins and this is where I'm gonna use the image tracer add-in that comes with it to read in this image and convert all the lines in art. So it's gonna convert all the edges you see into lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and click image tracer and there's different templates and settings you can come with it that, that comes with it that you can select them and they'll give you different results based on colors and line thickness and stuff like that in the image. Um, I'm just going to go through the default one here and you can adjust lines, polylines, splines, transparency, brightness. Um, there's advanced options here as well to adjust things. I'm going to leave the default I've had good luck with the default here on these. So I've got my image here. I'm just going to go ahead and select it. And it's going to read that image in. And it's 100% complete. I can hide the image and see what the lines, how it found them and convert them. Those are the lines I want. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and OK that. I'm going to go ahead and select the actual image here and hit the delete key to remove that image so I no longer need it. So I have my lines and arcs here. So I've got that. Now I'm just going to come up here to go file, save as, save it to my desktop. Um, I practiced before I demo here, so we got a file here. I'm just going to, to overwrite this file, osu.dwg. So yes, we're going to go ahead and replace that. I'm going to go over here to SolidWorks now, and we're going to create a new part. Go ahead and click on the front plane so that when I insert my DWG file, it's on that front plane. So I'm going to go to insert DXF DWG file, change this to DWG file. I'm looking at where I saved it on my desktop. I'll go ahead and open that up. And SolidWorks has got some import wizard here. I'm going to go through those. Go ahead and leave it the defaults. Finish that and hit OK. So now I have my sketch here of my logo was converted lines and arts. And then I want to make a solid on this. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw a sketch right on the top plane there, or front plane. And we're going to do the draw box somewhere. Yeah, we'll use this one. Something like that. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and just make those equal to one another on the length and width. And we'll just go ahead and give this a size of 3.5 inches. Okay, that. Exit my sketch. We're going to go ahead and give this a thickness here. Um, we'll just go a half inch thick. And we want to go the other way. So we want the logo on top of that. Okay, so now we've got our sketch there. And we're just gonna go ahead and give it a material here such as oak to make it look a little bit nicer. And then I don't need to see this sketch 
My program within CAM works or SOLIDWORKS CAM, so I'm going to just go ahead and hide it. But I do need to reference it. I just don't need to see it. So I'm going to go jump over here to CAM works. Go ahead and pick my mill. I'm going to use our three axis mill. Grab my default favorite tools. Tools in my tool crib and my post processor. Go ahead and hit OK. Go ahead and define our stock shape. I'm going to leave it the automatic bounding box, exact shape that I drew. Um, I will go ahead and we can change the material to set that. Oops, we want to go ahead and grab oak to match the solid material. And we're going to insert a coordinate system somewhere on here. Um, this is to align the X and Y axis, how the parts will be oriented on the machine. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to align the X axis to that edge and the Y axis to that edge if I was going to indicate the part in on the machine. And we've got the X, Y positive going that way, X positive going that way. So I like that. I'm going to go ahead and OK. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to program this interactively. I'm going to right click on my stock manager, insert my mill part setup, and select that face of so the tool approaches in this direction going down onto the face. I'm going to right click on the mill part setup and go to two and a half axis feature. Engrave feature. And that's sketch two that I want to reference. And you can see how it's highlighting the sketch. We'll tell it how deep do we want that cam feature to be. We're going to go 10 thousandths down into the part. I'm just going to leave the default finish strategy. I'm okay with that. So now I have created my CamWorks feature to machine the OSU logo or engrave it. So I had generated an operation plan. That pulled generated an operation, contour mill operation, and pulled my engraving tool. Um, I could go into that and adjust the machining parameters if I wish. Okay, but I'm going to go with the defaults that are set from the database for knowledge based machining for engraving. I'm going to generate that tool path. And it's got tool path on there. It's a little hard to see because of the features highlighted. So I'm going to go back and show you a little trick here to make that easier to see. I'm going to go back to the CamWorks feature tree. I'm going to hide the feature highlight of the feature. And it changes colors there, as you can see. But now when I go back, the feature highlight's gone. And all I see is the pure tool path of the part. So that looks great on the tool path. Um, I'm going to right click on here and just change the simulation color of the toolpath to, of course, a scarlet color. That works great for us. Hit OK. With my CamWorks toolbar up here, so I like to hit the simulate button. So we've got our part there. And we're going to go ahead and slow this down a little bit. And let's let this simulate. You'll see we are engraving. Ohio State logo in here. So it's a pretty simple way to convert an image into lines and arcs using uh, DraftSite and then in creating your part in SolidWorks and engraving your, it with CamWorks. So I hope you enjoyed today's uh, information. Found it very helpful. Take care.